Yes. Brought to you in part by GameCycle. GameCycle provides customers with quality, new, and vintage games from the Xbox One to the Atari 2600 at quality prices. Click the link below and visit GoGameCycle.com for more info. Hey guys, Brett here, and if you can't tell, I'm about to play a completely amazing game. Shadows of the Empire, Nintendo 64. You really, really can't go wrong with this. Now, I've already started a little bit, like I've started my uh, account, my usual name is Friday. And, uh, let's get this started, Battle of Hoth. I absolutely adore Star Wars, I mean, Star Wars is basically the shit to me. I am looking at my own um, Darth Vader helmet in my bedroom, I do not own a lightsaber yet, in which I do plan on doing so pretty soon. And this is... Just a race of nostalgia. I mean, this game just it, it consumed my childhood, and I am so glad to have got it at the store I work at today. I mean, I have not had it for a while, and I am glad that it is once again in my possession. I think this is one of LucasArts' just greatest works, just in the fact that this is on the Nintendo 64, and before recording it, I played the crap out of it. Like, the crap out of it. Like, no joke. And I am greatly, greatly disappointed to, um, a few months ago whenever uh, LucasArts went out. Just whenever Disney consolidated it and just... LucasArts is gone. All those great games they had in the works. Battlefront 3 was supposed to be coming out. And it got scrapped. I mean, there's rumors that it belongs to DICE. I mean, there's a teaser trailer and everything. But it j will just mit will not have that LucasArts kind of just creativity in it. And, like, this is a great example of why LucasArts was awesome. This, um, Star Wars The Force Unleashed 1, for some people. Um, Monkey Island. I mean, the list goes on with how good LucasArts was. And this game is just a freaking work of art. But anyway, guys, uh, leave a like, leave a comment in the description if you played this when you were a kid, because you've already heard me spill everything. Um, also, how do you guys feel about the uh, new Star Wars movies coming out? I, for one, I'm on the fence. I mean, like, there, people dog the new trilogy. I mean, Episode One, Two, and Three, but. I know some people are not going to be happy about this, but I didn't find it that bad. I mean, Jar Jar, of course. Everybody hates Jar Jar. I mean, even the hardcore short fans hate Jar Jar. Misa, dumbass! You know, that kind of shit. But, I feel like it was good for the story. I mean, Star Wars defined the hero formula and everything. I know that. But, it's just... We need to figure out how all that stuff started, and I died. But, it's just good to know how everything started, and just, this, they did a great universe on it. You, for instance, um, James Earl Jones I know played Darth Vader and Hayden Christensen, well, yeah, and the kid who played him in the Star Wars Episode One. well, uh, okay, that shouldn't have happened. At least there's a good hit detection. But, did you guys know that the guy who, the actor who played the Emperor in or I guess Palpatine, in the prequels is also the same guy, man who played uh, the Emperor in episode 5 and 6? Maybe some of 4? But nonetheless, same actor. They dragged him out since he was older and he could look the part. And I, I don't mind. I don't mind the new movies. The new movies are great. Um, the no was a bit overdone, I will agree. But I, I'll stick with Star Wars. I mean, I, I'll wait to see the trailers to make a good judgment on the new trilogy. But I've also heard some disturbing rumors about a possible series being on ABC. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, the, like, the Cartoon Network Clone Wars series, that, that show was great. That show was phenomenal, in my opinion. I mean, I almost bought a Cad Bane cardboard cutout. But... The series they're wanting to do on ABC is live action and potentially about droids. 
I don't know how you guys might feel about that, but I am uh, not feeling so hot about that. Hmm. I, I know Disney is considered by many to be an evil corporation. I mean, I'm waiting to see whether um, Disney or Walmart rules the world. But it's just... I don't know how how far you can go with destroying people's childhoods by making money off Star Wars. Star Wars is a very sacred thing. I mean, Episode of South Park was, devout, was um, devoted to it just on how Star Wars means to people and wanted to keep it away from people who might who are just going to bastardize it just for money. I mean, we've, we've yet to see some Star Wars related things come out of Disney. Um, surely none of it can be worse than the Star Wars Christmas special. I mean, if you guys don't know what it is, good luck finding a copy on the internet. I mean, let me put it this way. If people consider I, Howard the Duck is supposed to be George Lucas's worst cr like crowning achievement in film. I mean, it, it's, an, it's an awful mess. And he's perfectly fine with copies staying around. The Star Wars Christmas special came out, I think... The same year or the year after um, A New Hope, and he has dedicated time to finding copies of this and destroying them, because it is so atrocious. I, myself, have had the liberty of seeing a uh, version of this, and I can vouch that it is one of the worst things I've ever seen. And I have seen an animated movie about... Um, Mice on the Titanic, trying to uh, reach immortality and rule the world. Let me repeat that. I have seen an animated movie taking place on the Titanic about mice trying to take over the world with a fountain of youth, and it has nothing on the Star Wars Christmas special. Absolutely nothing. Just... If you guys could ever find a copy of that, do so. Because it is something I believe everybody should see so they can know just how bad life can be. <laughs> I mean, I really... I don't believe I can I can stress enough through words how awful the Star Wars Christmas special is to Star Wars fans and just everyday people. It's offensive to Star Wars fans and everyday people. Somebody who doesn't even know what Star Wars is, somebody who doesn't even own a TV could watch this and say, what the hell am I watching? And I'll be able to tell them, I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> but uh, I'm surprised I've actually gotten this far without losing all my lives, because earlier when I was playing, I was just dying left and right. This is about to lose my third life, but let's see how long I can last. But anyway, uh, yeah, Lucas, George Lucas, why did you have to sell, why did you have to sell Star Wars to, to the mouse? Why did you ever have to sell Star Wars to the mouse? I mean, that was the worst thing you could have ever done. Besides, you know, making a Jar Jar Bing spinoff. I'm still waiting for that, by the way. Maybe Disney. If you're, if you're out there listening, you know, if you want to make some more money, make a Jar Jar spinoff. Make a Jar Jar holiday special. Him and the Gungans all having a grand old time around the underwater Christmas tree. Just fun times all around. Anyway, guys. I'm trying to find a decent stopping point. Let's do this. Aw, oh, you bastard. Oh, shit. Anyway. Sorry if I got it silent there. I'm trying to... I just went a little kamikaze on him, and it didn't really work out too well in my favor. But... <sighs> Back to what I was saying. Star Wars is something that is sacred and should really not be messed with. I mean... I really suck at this. I should have practiced some more on the harpoon. Oh, oh! But, um, yeah, guys, Star Wars is something that should really 
be left alone just as what it is. I mean, it's created an entire culture of its own just through what it's done. I mean, I know many people think of Star Wars as just simply a geek thing, but it's not. Star Wars is something that changes people's lives. I mean, in, in the foreseeable, well, not the foreseeable future, but in the, in the future, I could see possibly a religion spawned out of this crap. I mean, if Scientology is a religion, why couldn't Star Wars be one? And I'm just going in a circle right now. Anyway, guys, uh, if you guys want to see more Shadows of the Empire, I'll be glad to play it. I mean, I'm probably going to play the crap out of this a little bit longer after I stop recording. But anyway, guys, see you later. <sighs> yeah, um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.